Hey, oh, hey, oh, everyone, it's Poofu here, and I'll be going over idols and their roles in Splatoon. So, first up, idols are celebrities in the Splatoon world who happen to be the main hosts for stage and update announcements. You can find them usually located in their studios, and if you stare at them long enough, they might wave or give you a wink. They're some of the first faces you'll see when you boot up Splatoon, and they also happen to slander one another on air, at least when it comes to Splatfest announcements. Oh, and speaking of Splatfest announcements, that brings me to my next point. Splatoon idols host Splatfest and perform during them, too. You'll be hearing their music blaring out in the hub world during battles and even the final minute song Now or Never gets a special rendition by them. Splatfests wouldn't be the same without idols and their performances. In fact, they even have live concerts. Pretty wild, right? And one last thing. Aside from being just a pop star, they also are undercover agents in Splatoon's story mode. They'll give you assistance, roast you, tips, ready kill someone, and little snippets of lore as you progress through levels. They might even come in last minute and save you from being abolished by a human statue regurgitating a deadly seafood toothpaste goo ray blend. Yeah, that's Splatoon's lore for you. Either way, Splatoon's idols play a major role in Splatoon, and the game wouldn't be the same without them.